Hey everyone, how are you? My name is Box. This is how talks with Box. And here I talk about health, I talk about my life, after I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, and just wanna like share my journey as well as educate you guys. So today I thought you know, you know, like like life is tough, you know, and sometimes having a snack, you know, a nice snack that is unhealthy because I've been eating a lot of healthy, healthy things over the past few years. I'm like, you know, them, we, we need, we need them snacks. We need them snacks. And sometimes you can't bake all the time and all this stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. I need to find a place where I can get myself some nice, yummy, unhealthy snacks that I can eat without having like a huge problem with inflammation or well, a huge problem with inflammation and um, having any gut um, symptoms of like you know bloatedness and all this so I went on this journey and I found quite a few snacks that I can eat that are low in allergens which means they don't have egg gluten soy wheat nuts in them at all all like at all and they taste like amazing amazing and i want to make sure that you guys if you are those people that are like damn i just need a snack that i can eat that won't aggravate any any symptoms that i may have of multiple sclerosis or any other autoimmune disease or um irritable bowel syndrome leaky gut then you know you should be able to get these snacks so I think like maybe okay like in 2020 I did find them but then they were discontinued then they were expensive then they were this and that and then that and then this year I was like I need to live my life I need to have some snacks I need to enjoy unhealthy foods again and so I started introducing them more than I should but they do help with my sanity I guess and yeah so I'm gonna show you what my snacks are tell you where I get them a general idea of the price that you likely to pay and give you an, uh, um, give you a reason why you know you should go for it all right guys let's get into this video I like ice cream and I like Oreos and I can't have ice cream because of the dairy and I was like okay cool maybe I can find like biscuits for myself to be able to eat and enjoy which I did all right there are two biscuits I actually recently found a new one like a month ago which like really I like jumped over the moon and yeah so I'm gonna start with the biscuits because those are what I eat most of this one is my favorite maybe mainly because you know it's green and green's my favorite color but it is from lifestyle food they are gluten-free dark sandwich cookies with vanilla flavoring filling free from gluten dairy eggs wheat and soy so they are vegan friendly quite high in carbs but you know if you like eating super healthy i feel like sometimes you can treat yourself so it is like my version of Oreos. They are delicious, like very delicious. But, um, you know, with every pro, there are a few cons. Mainly, so they are only eight in a pack and currently going at about 43 Rand for eight in a pack. Quite expensive, but I think, you know, it is worth it because I can't bake these so you know someone is willing to bake them for me so I am not too too phased sometimes about that price if I am phased then I just go with apples and grapes and all that because you know yeah I get these at Diskim Pharmacist Suke very very amazing but if you don't have a Diskim then Lifestyle Food is the brand the next is also from Lysol Food. This is the one that I found recently. Also free from the same things. Also sandwich cookies. But these ones have custard flavored filling. So I don't know 
what they or like the biscuits they are similar to that are um not gluten free and whatnot i i forget the the, the person who makes them but yeah they're also from lifestyle food they're also 43 rand and i think there are like 10 in a pack very nice not as sweet as the oreo version ones so if your tooth is not that sweet then i'll go for those ones all right so those are pretty much the like the only snacks that i really really eat on like every day um but if i am feeling like a little bit of chocolate i do go to another shop where i buy my chocolate and the shop i go to is called wellness warehouse also, I think it's also in South Africa only, but I get the chocolate there and the brand of the chocolate is called the Chocolate Yogi. The Chocolate Yogi is like pretty cool and it's actually really nice. Most of the chocolate is made out of coconut products. So coconut sugar, coconut, uh, coconut flour, coconuts and cocoa. And then the crunch is made of just there's a lot of coconut so you gotta like coconut to like these but they do some of taste like almost like normal chocolate uh, you know i haven't had chocolate in such a long time i don't even know if i know what normal chocolate tastes like but these are very very good also quite sweet so you do need to have a sweet tooth if you're going to eat these so i don't always get them because they are quite sweet quite sweet for 35 grams it's about 23 rand um yeah not bad at all you have they are vegan organic and plant-based then these are the two flavors i generally like the yellow one orange yellow is milk honeycomb crunch milk with a y because it's not milk um and then this one is milk peppermint crunch because peppermint is just delicious so these are the two that i would generally get but there's white chocolate there's normal like milk chocolate there's um what's that other one um salted caramel that's also a very nice one i've tried it once but yeah those are like pretty much it other snacks that i would have if i don't really go like the expensive route would be salt and vinegar chips because salt and vinegar chips are awesome um not too expensive either and generally potatoes are gluten free so yeah it's not really a problem but do make sure like some like doritos and stuff do have gluten in them or wheat in them so you just really have to read the back the back just to make sure that it has no allergens that you're allergic to and then popcorn is a definite go for uh yes yes a definite yes yes <laughs> that i like to go for as well and then your fruits are pretty much the snacks that i go for but i've also decided that you know sometimes baking is pretty cool uh when i'm in the mood so i have learned to make biscuits i make coconut biscuits i've learned to make brownies and i have learned to make muffins and yeah so hopefully soon you guys can come into my kitchen and bake with me and see all the ingredients that i use and yeah how they all come out and maybe you guys can try it as well all right guys those are all my snacks lifestyle foods are the ones that i get um at Diskin. those are the biscuits and then the chocolate yogi i get at wellness warehouse if you don't have Diskin or wellness warehouse where you're from try look up the chocolate yogi and then also um lifestyle foods maybe you'll be able to find it in your area if not then chips and popcorn and fruit is the best way to go but there are a lot of a lot more vegan brands um out there just make sure if you are sensitive or allergic to soy that it doesn't have soy in it or that the vegan that they're using is not nut based if you're if you can't have nuts so yeah, these don't have any of those, so those are quite, um, well, that's why they are my, my go-to. All right, guys, have a lovely week. I'll see you guys soon with another video on how talks with forks. And yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Sorry, allergies. But um, thanks, guys, for watching. If you want to see more videos, do click on one of them over here. Or if you want to see my channel, do click on the little round thingy 
at the bottom of this this page thing all right guys i will definitely see you soon with a new video about my life my journey or health condition enjoy hop on board subscribe i'll see you guys soon bye